Hi, I'm Jackie from Accenture Yoga. I specialize in exercises for over 40s to keep their body young, to keep their body in amazing condition. And this video is on the ankles, which are so important for everyday mobility, all sports, just moving freely. The ankles are the foundations of a whole body and you need to work on them. They're not gonna get stronger and more flexible as you get older. Especially if you have old injuries, you need to do more work. But if you value staying in great condition, just do the work. This is an amazing video. I'll show you the number one exercise for keeping the ankles young. And I'd love you to give me comments. I'd love you to become a patron. Subscribe. I'm here for you to keep your body 15 years younger. Okay, the first exercise that you should practice regularly to keep your ankles in great condition is balancing on one leg. Really important. Basically walking and running is a one-legged, one leg, the other leg. So you need to work on that stability, that support, that cushioning as well. Now, balancing on one leg for me, it's too easy just on the carpet here. Or for you, hard floor or carpet might still be challenging, but it's not challenging for you. Grab a pillow like I am. I'm going to double it over and that's going to challenge my ankle joint stability a bit more. So as long as it's challenging for you, it doesn't matter. You could even have a one hand on the wall. So I'm balancing on one ankle and I might deliberately make it harder, wobble around a bit to make my ankle stabilizing muscles work harder. Or you could try a balancing beam or a balancing or a wobble board that some people have. But for me, just keep practicing different yoga poses works. So that's one ankle and then try the other ankle. You know, at least at least 10 seconds on each side. I'd go for 20, you know, 20 seconds. And as I said, just regularly keep practicing lots of these yoga poses that we practice, which is always going to help ankle stability. I'm deliberately wobbling. I can be really steady, I think. <laughs> Maybe not on the pillow. Okay, so make sure you do that regularly, as you know. Not every now and then, it's what you do regularly that counts. So the next exercise that you should do regularly, I hope you can do this video three times a week actually for your ankles, is just walking on your tippy toes. And this is really good to strengthen your calf muscles, the arches of the feet and your toes actually, because the toes are ex um, extended here. And just, just have a little walk around your room on your tippy toes. So that's a really good one to do regularly. I want you to be 80 and you can still do this easily. So after a bit of toe walking, also do a little bit of walking around on your outer feet and it, this strengthens your inner ankle as well as stretches your outer ankle. So a little bit of that. So it feels weird, but it's quite good to do a little bit and you're stimulating the bones in different ways. So it's different kind of exercise. And then walk around on your inner edges of your feet. Have a little, you'll feel a bit weird, but this is strengthening your outer ankle, which is a really good one to do, especially if you've got this old weakness from spraining your ankle as a kid. The ligaments might be weaker, so strengthening into the outer ankle joint. And then a little bit of walking around your heels. <laughs> so like a Charlie Chaplin. Okay. But the toe one is the best, the tippy toe one. Okay, great. So next one is really important and also basically try to work, walk evenly on both feet when you do walk. <laughs> so not turning in or out or always on your heels or toes. Um, the next one, heel raises, really important. So just heels up, pause, and then slowly down. Slowly up, pause slowly down. Coming up, so you feel it strengthening your toes, your calf muscles, arches of the feet, slowly down. And also try, you might need the wall for this, one leg, don't let the ankle roll out, squeeze in through the inner ankle, and then slowly down. Slowly up, pause, slowly down. That's the key. So see if this one, don't forget, don't let the ankle pull out. See if this one feels strong. If it feels weak, that's a good discovery. Do the other foot now. 
that's a good discovery that you've made because if you've located a weak area of your body and it's something you have control over so you can work on it and improve your whole mobility because your ankles are your foundations. So if you strengthen your ankles, one more here, up, pause, slowly down. And then a few more with both feet. And if you have a weaker side, do extra on that. And if you improve your, as I was saying, your ankle joint stability, you improve up through the whole connect chain, up through your knees, hips, spine, right up to your neck. So do the, do the work. We're going to come down to the floor. And if you can, another really good exercise for ankle mobility is simply practice squatting. So you might have your heels up if you're not used to it, but try to have the heels down. And it's fine if the feet turn out a bit. Just have them turning out the same. So it's, it's ankle dorsiflexion here. So it's flexibility in the calf muscles. And also it's also softening in the ankle flexors, the muscles in the front of the ankle and the shins. So the ability to soften there. So it's not just a flexibility thing. Having healthy joints is obviously stability, strength, and also flexibility, but also the ability to just be soft as well, like we have naturally when we're a kid. But um, yoga is particularly good at the softening part and the flexibility and the strength. But um, <laughs> that's why I love yoga, because it keeps that, the joints young, <laughs> obviously. Um, the next one is just simply practicing kneeling. So see if you can just simply kneel. Don't worry if you can't, but keep practicing because squatting and kneeling should be natural things you can do to keep your body young. And, that, and obviously this is the ankles in a different position. So it's flexibility in the front of the ankles and foot and the shins. So it's ankle plantar flexion and kneeling, stretching forward always feels good for your back too. It's good for your lower back, squatting and kneeling, and you know, reach, leaning back is really good. And if you really want to stretch your ankles, you can make it a bit stronger lifting your knees up, but be careful, don't overstretch because that won't help you. And then the last exercise, which I think is the number one. So if you're only going to do one of them, if you're only going to do two minutes a day, do this one, okay? But if you've got 10 minutes, do all of them, three times a week. But if you're only going to do one for your ankles, do this most days or even three times a week will be effective. So see how I'm lying on my back, hugging one knee in and then slowly rotating the ankle one way. Really slowly, you get a better range of movement when you go slowly and back the other way. We'll go three times each direction. And the the beauty of this one, that's why I say it's the, the best one of all of them, is because it's working on stability. Now change directions. It's working on stability or strength around the ankles and, and also mobility, flexibility. Back the other way and don't skim over the sticky stiff spots. Take a bit more time there, especially the turning out. And then once more, the other direction. And hopefully you feel your muscles a bit. So work hard there. Maybe you need a little bit more time there. But that will do for now. And then the other foot. So really slow rotations one way. And also it's always good for stimulating blood flow because it can get a bit stagnant in our feet when we're older. So it's really good. Stretching pulls blood flow. Now back the other way towards the area. Contracting pushes the blood flow away. So we're simultaneously stretching and contracting around our ankle. Back the other way. And so we're really getting that blood flow moving. Keeping everything healthy. Nothing getting stagnant. And then once more each direction. So please, if you're only going to do one of them, do this one. But definitely try the others, do the others regularly. And then back the other way. You know how important your ankles are. And if you want to keep your body young, you actually have to work on them because they're not getting more flexible and they're not getting stronger as you get older. And your blood flow <laughs> is getting more stagnant. So keep stimulating it. Okay. And if you've got time, just lie down. 
take some really deep, slow breaths because that's always good for you. Uh, but if you don't have time, you've done your ankles and I hope you can do this regularly. And I hope you can become a patron of my channel. Commit to yourself by paying a small fee and us committing to me, keep doing it every week and have a great day. Thank you.